My name is Luke, and I lead the youth ministry at Ashland Christian Fellowship. For the next couple of weeks, we are going to be diving in, talking about the armor of God and the importance of each aspect of it. But before we get further into this, I just thought it would be important to really know what we're up against and the why the purpose of the armor of God is in the first place. Paul, in his letter to the Ephesians, in chapter 6, in verse 10, he starts off by saying this, and this is in the New Living Translation, he goes on to say, A final word. Be strong with the Lord's mighty power. Put on all of God's armor, so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies and tricks of the devil. For we are not fighting against people made of flesh and blood, but against the evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against those mighty powers of darkness who rule this world, and against wicked spirits in the heavenly realms. So I think that's important for us to first see that, because if we don't know what we're fighting or up against, really can ask ourselves, what's the point of all this? And I know there's we're in a crazy time where there's wars constantly all around. There's there's hurt, there's corruption, and all these things. Even currently, probably right now as you're watching this, we're in a time where, in a sense of a pandemic. But really, we're not going up against these things. It's not against people that we're fighting, we're called to fight for. Because we learned that we're actually called to love all. But really, we're fighting against what is in the world, and that's this evil. And so it's important that we put on these aspects, these armors of God, so that we could better be prepared to deal with what's coming ahead. And so to start off our series, we are talking about the belt of truth. Now, Paul, spending time in Rome during his captivity, would have been familiar with a lot of the Roman soldiers and their apparel, and he uses this best to relate to uh, the different parts of the armor of God. And so the reason why the belt is so significant is it would have been the first thing that any Roman soldier would have put on. Because it's not necessarily an armor piece, but it acts as a functional way of holding all the garments together. Like before you went out and did anything, you had to put on this belt. And not only did this belt hold all the garments together, that's where you attach your sword. So if you didn't have a belt on, you were kind of left defenseless. As well as most of the Roman belts had leather strips with either iron or bronze um, mixed into them so that it would add extra protection for the lower regions of the soldier's body. And so. In another practical way, just like if you're going out of your house and you have your pants on and you don't have your belt, there's a if, unless you have really good fitting jeans, your belt, your pants are going to fall down all the time. And so, just like that, we need to be wrapped in a way, or in some translation, says girded in this truth. And the next question then to ask is, what is truth? Because Throughout media and other forms, we hear people talk about truth and that, especially nowadays, we live in this time where truth is considered relative. It's like, what you say is true for you, but that's not true for me. But as believers, we know what is said in God's word here, that it is not just true for you and not true for me, but it's what's called absolute truth that it never changes what is said what who god is and what his he says in his word is going to be true no matter what happens no matter what society says no matter what the circumstances are and so i think it's important that we understand and learn about the truth of who god is and what he says because just kind of like going out without your belt, if you're not surrounded by the absolute truth, you're going to left with your pants down and it's going to be embarrassing. And so my hope for you in all these videos is that you don't just take my word for it, but really become 
learners and disciples of what Jesus said. And so I hope this was helpful for you guys today. Join me next time as we talk more about what God says.